What's up? Welcome to Andy 7 String. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change power tubes in a guitar amplifier. The amplifier that I'll be using is a Mesa Boogie Mark V 90 watt head. I'll be replacing the stock Mesa Boogie power tubes with a quad pair of Tung Sol 6L6 GC STRs. The Mesa Mark V ships standard with Mesa branded 6L6s, the current line being the STR 440s. These are a direct replacement for the out of production 420s and 430s. For moderate playing levels 10 to 15 hours a week, preamp tubes last between 2 and 3 years. Power tubes around 12 to 18 months. Rectifier tubes are normally good for 2 to 5 years. I think now it's time to take a trip to JD Customs to interview Christo, the electrical engineer. So you play your guitar, you get a very small signal, you put it into your amp, it gets amplified by the preamp tubes. That's where you get all your textures, all your timbre, all the nice, the nice sound from. It gets sent to your power tubes. From your power tubes you go to a output transformer and then it goes to your speaker. The task of your power tube is to replicate that small wave, make it bigger so that it has the power to move that speaker. The best way is to test it with a valve tester. Another way to test your power tube is while it's in the amp, you just tick it with your nail. Shouldn't make a ringing sound or shouldn't make a distortion or a crackling sound. The valve tester we use is an orange valve tester. That small wave. The tubes have cooled down slightly. What I'm going to do, as instructed by Christo, is slowly wiggle them, turning them around to release them. There is a point where you can match the stem of this particular tube into the little slot, which allows it to line up and let the pins go in doing a gentle wiggle 